It is now time for member statements. And I recognize the member for Toronto Centre. Thank you, Speaker. Today, it is my pleasure to welcome members and staff from the Co-op Housing Federation of Canada to the Legislature today. Co-op housing is certainly near and dear to my heart and to the hearts of many of the constituents in Toronto Centre. In my riding, the urban core of Toronto's downtown east, we are proudly home to the largest per capita distribution of co-op housing in all of Canada. As many families in Toronto and across Ontario are faced with the increasing precarity of housing and with a lack of affordable housing options, co-ops present a real alternative for low- and middle-income families. It is no wonder that the waitlist for most co-ops are years and sometimes decades long. In my riding, most of the waitlists for co-ops are closed to new applicants because the waitlists are too long to accommodate the growing need. Co-ops offer a real choice for families looking for affordable housing. With a non-profit model and a mix of market rate and rent geared to income units, they create truly vibrant and connected neighbourhoods. Our province, Speaker, is in the midst of a housing crisis, the likes of which we have never seen before. Ontarians deserve better and not just Band-Aid solutions when it comes to housing. I am proud to stand today to celebrate the great work of co-ops in my riding across Ontario and across Canada. Thank you. Thank you very much. Member statements. The member for Essex. Much speaker, I rise today with a heavy heart to offer my sincere condolences to the victims of the shootings of innocent worshippers in Pittsburgh on Saturday. We send our love to the family, friends, and loved ones who now bear the heavy burden of sorrow in the aftermath of this unimaginable violence and hatred. I also want to commend those first responders who ran into harm's way to face this evil head-on without question, saved lives, ensuring that the shooter would face justice. Police officers from across Ontario undoubtedly stand in solidarity with their fellow officers in Pittsburgh. Whether it's a mosque in Montreal or a synagogue in Pittsburgh, Speaker, the rise of le and level of hate, fear and ignorance has resulted in the loss of innocent lives and a deep division in our social fabric. As elected officials in this House, we have an obligation to call out the spreading of hate. We must lead by example in bringing people of goodwill across all faiths together in peace, love and mutual respect for one another. We need only to look at our own communities where local leaders are coming together to forge interfaith partnerships, for examples of people reaching across the religious divide and connecting with others in the spirit of fellowship to tackle social issues. In Windsor-Essex, one such initiative is the Interfaith Group of Windsor and Essex County, led by Dr. Norman King. This inspirational group seeks to foster a deeper understanding and respect of our various faith and traditions and worldviews, and for the fundamental values of humanity they proclaim, such as human dignity and human rights. Speaker, it is necessary that when we see hatred being spread, we name it, but that's not enough. We must also lead, acknowledge, and foster within our circles a deep and abiding respect for all humanity. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you very much. Member Statements. The member for Humber River, Black Creek. Thank you, Speaker. I rise again in this chamber to share the frustrations of drivers in my home community of Humber River, Black Creek, who are sick of paying sky-high auto insurance premiums just because of where they live. For the fourth consecutive quarter, auto insurance companies have raised rates. Most recently, this government has approved a rate increase as high as 11.6%. Auto insurance premiums in my community are as high as double the rates of other neighbourhoods within the GTA. Drivers in my community with clean records pay astounding rates. In fact, I've met local residents unable to drive because they can't afford the car insurance. On Tuesday, November 13th, I'm hosting an important auto insurance town hall meeting to give residents in my community and across the GTA an important opportunity to share their frustrations and help the official opposition push this government to do the right thing and end auto insurance postal code discrimination. The town hall meeting will be held on Tuesday, November 13th at 7.30 p.m. at St. Basil the Great College School, located at 20 Starview Lane in the Weston and Shepherd area. I've been fighting this postal code discrimination for many years, and this will be the third auto insurance town hall meeting I have hosted for my community. Residents will also have the opportunity to hear details on a current NDP private member bill that seeks to finally end postal code discrimination here in the GTA. 
and add their name to an important petition demanding a better system. I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you. Thank you. Member Statements. The member for St. Catharines. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This past weekend, I had the opportunity to participate in the Poppy Campaign kickoff of one of our four local legions in St. Catharines. Royal Canadian Legion Branch 138, Thoral Pipe Band, and local cadets paraded through our local mall, the Penn Centre. Mr. Speaker, I was honoured to parade with Ernie Adams, one of our local heroes from St. Catharines from the Second World War, who is from the community of Meriton. This year marks the 100th anniversary of the armistice, armistice that ends the conflict in World War I. It is important for everyone across this province to show their support for our veterans by proudly wearing a poppy. Poppy boxes will be distributed in our local legions, variety stores, and supermarkets. Our gracious support to poppy campaigns and local legions should not be for one month or one day in November. It should be for every day of the year, Mr. Speaker, that we help and provide the assistance to our veterans, whether it be for housing, medical care, or just basic care. Wear a poppy and wear it proud, lest we forget. Member Statements. Reports by Committees.